I'm going to show you how to make a fancy bed in Arc, no matter what platform you play on. I don't know about you, but I've always found the bed choices in Arc to be a little bit lacking. Come on now, couldn't we at least put a new blanket on it? And of course, the only other option before you've done boss fights is the bunk bed. And sometimes that isn't quite the aesthetic you're going for either. Doctor, this time could we lose the bunk beds? No, bunk beds are cool. A bed with a ladder. You can't beat that. But if you'd gone to all the trouble to build a big, beautiful castle, neither of those options really seem all that great. When I was building Mr. Miola's mountaintop mansion, click here if you haven't seen that video, I just couldn't stomach putting a bunk bed in a corner and calling it a day. So I fiddled around and came up with this four poster bed design. It's great. Especially the bed, the bed in the bedroom, the four post bed, that is like, what even? <laughs> so I promised a tutorial on how I made this. Not only am I going to show you how to build this using pieces from the mod Castles, Keeps and Fortresses, I'm also going to show you how to build a similar design using base game pieces with no mods whatsoever. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you how I made a canopy for a tech pod as well. Sometimes you need a cool bedroom even in an end game base to showcase that tech pod that you worked so hard for or that you got in a drop on Genesis 2, either way. So let's get going. I have recreated a spot here just to build this in. And you'll notice, just like the version I built in Mr. Miola's castle, this wall here is too wide because I wanted this large rose window to be behind the bed. But I wanted the bed to be centered in front of it. And I also need it to be set a little bit forward from the wall so that it'll actually look like it has a headboard. So the way that I did that was by using some triangles so if we can get some triangles going here sometimes it's easier to place one opposite where you actually want it first now you'll see since the triangle is a little bit narrower than the full width of a square ceiling this gives us a snap point that is centered between two foundations and also a little bit in front of the wall so that's what we needed I can now pick up or not. Just a second here. Let's get that back again. Let's turn on debug structures so we will know what is attached to what. So this ceiling is only attached to this other ceiling. That means I can't get rid of these, these other ones. But good news is because of the fact that they are made out of S plus glass, I can hide them later on. So it'll be okay. And now we need a special piece from CKFR that I absolutely love, which is the vanilla adapter. Now, those of you who are not familiar with CKFR, here, let me show you what the normal use of this piece is. Is. Let's grab a regular stone wall. So this is just a base game stone wall and a castles keeps and fortresses wall and you will easily notice that there it, they are different sizes. Well castles keeps and fortresses included a piece the vanilla adapter that makes up the difference between the two which makes it possible to combine pieces from the base game or from other mods that use the same proportions with castles, keeps, and fortresses. So that's the regular use of that piece. But what I love about it also is that it is the shortest piece in the game that I've found so far that counts as a wall. It gives you the same snap points as a wall. So what I need to do here is I need to snap a ceiling on top of this. This is going to be the base of the bed. And then I'm going to hang some of some more vanilla adapters from this. So I'm going to choose the model for these glass ceilings here with no sides. There we go. And let's put the last one here. All right. So there's the base of our bed. And then I'm going to I wanted the headboard to be a little higher than the footboard. So I'm going to put another vanilla adapter on there and then this half wall arch piece. Let's do a one third wall at the foot of the bed. 
I love that there's so many different sizes of walls in castles, keeps, and fortresses. There. That looks better for the foot of the bed. We could also try doing it out of villager or settler pieces. So let's just see what the options are available there. Let's see. And these will be on the corners. And if you if you need them to snap to the corners without snapping downward like that, then if you put a fence foundation, that will help the situation. But I don't have anything underneath, so I don't mind if they stick through the bottom of the ceiling. All right. And I want this bed to be really nice and tall, so they're actually two pillars in height with that. And if I was going to do that, I would also swap out the settler ceiling for a villager ceiling. I do like the red tones of that wood. It is really pretty. And we can add these accent pieces around the sides as well. Let's try some of these other structure variants. Oh, that one's kind of funky. Never seen that one before. Interesting. All right. And then hanging down from that, I can add some of these upside down gable pieces. Let's try these half arch also kind of works as a gable. This is kind of supposed to give a suggestion of curtains. There's some other variants on this. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think on Mr. Miola's, I actually used the, the settler upside down gable piece and then painted it purple, but I'm gonna try this for now. And then here in the front of it, let's add an accent well and around the sides and then I'm gonna do a trick here that I learned from Captain Fat Dog who is the goat as they say when it comes to arc building and this is something that he discovered in vanilla in the base game but I did a little testing and it works with modded pieces as well so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place this ceiling hatch then I'm going to open it because it works better for my purposes that way. And then I'm going to take a, a different variant of ceiling hatch. And I'm going, you know what, this will be easier to see what I'm doing if I remove the accent pieces first. There we go. So we're going to take this ceiling hatch frame and we're going to replace the one that's there. And then check this out. I removed that and these hatch frame doors are still here. That's just the way it is with all of the different types of hatch frames in art, it would seem. Let's switch this to manual. If you replace the hatch frame and break the hatch frame that they were, were originally placed with, then it leaves them floating. I'm, let me just show you over here. So if I can, I can do this with any type of hatch frame, but let's, let's show you with a base game one here. So the basic concept here is if I place a hatch frame and then I put a trap door in it and then I take a ceiling and replace the hatch frame. It breaks the hatch frame, but it doesn't break the trap door. The trap door is still there, even though it's not being supported. And so then if you pick up the ceiling, it leaves the trap door floating. So this is the basic concept that I just did over there using modded pieces instead of base game pieces. And so then we're gonna do that a second time so that we get curtains going down on all four sides. So I'm gonna place, you will notice I placed the first one from this angle. This one I'm going to place from this angle because we want the doors to open the other direction there. And because this has them automatic by default, we'll switch them to manual. And then because I would like this to have a solid top to it, I'm actually going to replace it with a solid ceiling instead of another hatch frame. There we go. And then I can hang some of these pieces down from that ceiling, like so. And then let's add our accent pieces back up here. And we can put some beds on. Here, and let's and let's grab the bed. And this is really nice. This is a nice design if you have access to castles, keeps, and fortresses, but you do not have access 
to a mod a decor mod that has beds then this is a great way to dress up the base game beds so these are s plus ones which snap together so i did two of those and then i'm just because i think it looks a little better i'm going to add a third one so we got another pillow there and also so that we have three different spawn points here and the base game bed will not snap with the s plus ones so it will clip through them easily and there now we've got our beds in our canopy you can also dress it up with uh adding like a bench at the foot of the bed this one's also from castles keeps and fortresses all right and let's grab let's try a different structure variant there i also used these benches on the sides of the bed to act as a step they do work well for that i'll just clip them part way in like that and switch it to villager and see then it it matches and see now now i can easily just run up without having to jump So that makes a nice little step on either side of the bed. Another one for this side. And I'm purposely not centering it because I'm leaving space for a bedside table. Let's change it to the villager variant because that matches with the frame of what we've got going on. And then it also doesn't look like this it doesn't look exactly the same as the bench at the foot of the bed. There we go. And then we're going to change these guys to a different variant let's see i think what i did before was doing the helix design and the nice thing about the helix design is there are different versions of it so that's the regular helix it looks like it kind of slants to the left if i switch to the reverse helix then see it looks more symmetrical one sloping to the left and one sloping to the right so let's do the same with this one here all right and then for the upper one we'll pick a different variant and i think i like the one with the top yeah like that and then with the s plus multi tool i can copy that setting and put that on all of the other ones and that makes it look really fancy schmancy and then let's grab a spray painter and some purple dye now we'll take this guy there now we have purple curtains on our bed frame i like how this design just hides the the plain beds and just kind of dresses up a room make it look, makes it look like it's a bed fit for a king and let's make the wall behind it a little higher because this little structure this little cherry blossom retreat is not finished and then let's try something for the bedside table there's a lot of different things you can do for a bedside table, but using the crop plots like this is optional. I just wanted to raise up the height of the chair a little bit higher so it was not the same height as the bench here. And of course, if there's nothing on the other side of the wall, it's easier to hide. If not, then you might have to get a little more creative. Put one of these guys on it, see how that height looks. I want it a little higher. I wish they had the small crop plots that stack, but didn't have that rough wood bit at the corner. Kind of annoys me. But what can you do? It's a dinosaur survival game, right? <laughs> it's not meant to be. The developers had no idea people would be building stuff like this when they made the game. All right, and then this chair also has variants. So let's switch it to a villager stool, like so. I think this is a little different than what I did um, on Mr. Miola's, but this works. And then we, I do have the plant, vegetation planters mod on here. So let's grab one of these guys uh, and you will also get a little bit of a tutorial on using this mod. So we'll put this over here as a decoration and then we're going to grab the planter gun and then all we do is we're going to left click on it and now it's connected to that planter and now i'm right click and it'll show me all of the different options of plants that are basically connected to that particular planter and i can go through the options by clicking r and that's the one that i wanted so we'll 
sometimes these plants really come in handy for hiding things. So we can do that. And then we also have the uh, additional lighting mod on here. So let's pull that up in Nucleus and take a look at what kinds of lighting we have available. I think I want probably something pretty simple like this little guy. We'll grab one of those and also just place a candlestick. Let's look at, let's try one of the bigger candlesticks. I think that could be fun. There, the table candelabra. That's the guy. There we go. Now let's put the gun away. Um, no, I did not mean to sit in there. There we go. And then just to show another option, uh, I'm gonna show you a different way of doing the headboard. I actually went back and looked at the video footage of the one I made for Mr. Miola, and I did something a little different with the headboard there. So I'll show you how I did that. I used that, and then I used this little guy, which does also have a villager variant, but the gable peak like that. And then if you go into the variants, you can do capped version and that makes a nice little pointed headboard. Let's see what it would look like in the villager variant. Let's try one third wall and then we'll grab villager peak like so. You know what I'm going to turn off that debug structures because all the tech spam is bugging me. That's better. Okay let's and let's see what options this one has. I, okay. Frame seven. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that one. Yeah, so there's another way of doing the headboard. And then on Mr. Miola's server, he had uh, Eco's Garden Decor. And so I used a flower pot from that as the base or the bedside table. But I don't have that mod on this server. So I use the crop plots instead. This, you can also use this if you would like to dress up the feet of the bed over here. Now, our crop plots. And this is easiest to do if you're looking down from above. I'm going to have to put the box first and then the crop plots because otherwise they will raise up the height of the box. All right. And there's another way of doing a bedside table. And you can even still store things in the box if you want to. So that's the way you can do it if you do not have the planters mod on your server. And now we're going to go over here and I'm going to attempt to do something similar without using any modded pieces. We're just going to make a pretty simple little part of a building here. And something like this is always easier if you've got a subfloor. So I'm going to do that. Basically what that means is that I'm not going to build directly on this pad. I'm going to create a little kind of like a crawl space below the actual living area. But if you want to do any fun detailed type of decorating, it's a good idea to include a subfloor like that. All right, and let's actually move these so that I can access the underneath part a little bit easier. And then, you know, once you had this built up and you had stairs down and stuff, nobody would even notice that there's that underneath. And then let's grab some triangle, grab some wood triangle ceilings and some stones. And of course, we are not going to be able to hide these. And so instead of that, we're going to, what I usually do if I can't hide them is I try to showcase them, make them look like they are intentional. Okay, well, now they're going where I can't see them, but they are here not quite where I wanted them to go. It might be invisible after all if it's going to be snapping lower. I wonder what the other variants would do. Would those be visible? Doesn't seem like it. The stone one is at least a little visible from the top, but because of the texture, it doesn't really show. There we go. That's how we wanted it though. <laughs> Don't really need those ones. We will pop this guy back on there. Now those are basically invisible, but they are still there and giving us the snap point we're going to need. So that's how to do it if you want to center it between two walls, like how I did before. There we go. But now we're going to need to do something a little bit funky because we're going to need 
a ceiling that is lower than this, but higher than the floor. Now from underneath here, there we want a pillar on its lower snap point like that. There we go. That's what we wanted. There. And now let's go ahead and snap some stone ceilings over those triangles there. Now you can't see those and let's hang some walls down to cover the sides. Sometimes it helps if you put one on the top first. And then on the bottom. There we go. That's the one. This isn't real. This is centered but it looks like it is flush with the wall. But we can still make a headboard for this bed using these guys. Let's make the center one higher. This is a little more difficult, of course, because they have to be free placed rather than snap, but you can do some pretty cool things with these guys. And I kind of, I think I would prefer that without the piece of wood through it. So I wonder if I could swap that out for a different type of wall. I think pretty much all the vanilla variants have that. I have to flip the wall to get rid of it. Well, if you can't get rid of it, embrace it. Do this out of stone. That might look a little odd. Like, whoever heard of a four-poster bed made out of stone? Let's try wood and metal. The greenhouse might actually be pretty. I wish you could get rid of the rusty spots on those. Let's try this, since it doesn't have the rusty spots, at least. There we go. It's kind of pretty. Let me do something on the corners here. Let's maybe try... Since we don't have the accent pieces, we can use these instead. Hmm. Let's try one of the other variants instead. Let's try the, the tech one. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. A little bit more on the ornate side. Place some beds on here. There's a king size bed for you. And for the footboard, let's add a railing like that. But what we can do is we can put that on the top here. We could do some of these as decorative details around the sides. That looks kind of cool. Ooh, I do like that. So I know a lot of people do headboards with rave stones, but I just have a little bit of difficulty with suspending disbelief and seeing them as headboard instead of gravestones. But let's let's try it. There. Okay, you have to be above in order for them to do that. Yeah, yeah, easy enough to fix later. So you can do a headboard like that. And even do something like this. It might look better with the metal signs. Oh, and that last one is crooked. Let's try something else. Those don't work on the gravestones. Oh, but the canvases do. Interesting. It almost looks like layers of pillows or something. Might even try to put those lower and clip the beds over the bottom of them or something. Something like that. Okay, let's try something different though. Put a fence foundation in there. Ooh, I like it with a railing down there. Let's try some different door frames here, some tech door frames to give a different texture to the bottom. Put our glass ceiling up there and the tech fence foundations. Ooh, especially painted. I really like the look of those tech fence foundations up there. It almost looks like hanging lanterns or something. Try some railings down here at the foot of the bed. You can layer the trophy wall mounts with the railings. That's pretty cool. Put some artifact pedestals down for fancy feet to the bed. 
And let's try making a kind of a bedside table arrangement here. But I'm gonna need to access this from the other side because placing these chairs, they always face away from you and I wanna face that way. Oh, I thought you could sit a vessel on the chair, but apparently not. So we'll just need to hide a piece of a prop plot and of course, there's always ways to hide the other side of it that's sticking out through the wall. Could always just put a large storage box on the other side or use that prop plot as part of a shelf sort of arrangement. There's, there's options. So anyway, but I would worry about that when I got to that room. Let's try another layered railing and trophy wall mount type of thing here for the head of the bed. I like that. And those are paintable as well, so you could also paint them to match a different color scheme for the bed. I like the tangerine though, how the tangerine makes the metal and tech bits there look coppery. Greenhouse stuff and the tech pieces. Yeah, I like that copper look. Let's try adding windows behind the bed, a little bit more like the modded version I made. Yeah, I like that it kind of frames the bed a little bit in the room. Yeah, and it's always a good idea to test out the bed to make sure that there aren't issues with collision, that you don't get, get stuck when you try using the bed. So everything was working fine. So I decided to move on and try making another one, another version of that, because it took a while to figure out how to make, how to get the bed centered properly. It was a little convoluted and I didn't, I wasn't able to show it clearly for the first one. So basically what I figured out is you do the triangles like this and then you're gonna wanna snap a, a square ceiling outward and then another square ceiling inward because that square ceiling over the triangles is what you need to snap your pillar to in order to get the bed centered between two foundations. If you want to do that, it's completely optional. You don't have to do that in order to make a bed. The important thing with this is just placing the pillars so that there is a nub sticking up through the ceiling that you can then place a ceiling on in order to make it slightly raised above the floor. Then we'll add some foundation support underneath in case we need it later. So here we go. We've got the start of our bed and we'll hang, hang some walls down, downward from that slightly raised ceiling to cover the sides make the bed look nice and solid. And then once we snap the uh, stone ceilings over, you can't see those triangles anymore, even though they are still underneath there. Yeah. And then we'll grab some double door frames, we'll try some metal ones here, just change up the look a little bit, see what some other pieces will look like in there could even make it three high, especially since these walls are shorter, but I decided to keep it simple and go with two door frames high. And I forgot I'll need to add a fence foundation at the other end there. At this end, if I want to also be able to have a double doorway, double door frame in there. So decided to try to do a thing with a floating glass window as a decorative accent. So this works exactly the same as that little trick earlier with the trap doors. You just replace the wall, the window wall with a regular wall, breaking it, and then you pick it up and it leaves the window floating. That works with doors too, actually. But they make kind of a nice little glass accent in there. And yeah, I just, I, I, don't like those rusty bits on the metal double door frames. So decided to swap those out for greenhouse ones. But I do like these metal railings. They have a really interesting texture to them, especially when combined with the greenhouse glass like this. And now I just need to change the height because of course I want the headboard to be higher than the footboard. We can snap this down. There we go. And let's try doing a design with signs again, but we'll try the metal signs. And take a little bit of finagling to get them where you want them, of course. Make an interesting design. This almost looks kind of like a seashell or something. Maybe a little bit kind of art deco inspired or something. 
Yeah. So of course that covered up the window, but this is just another option. You could do either option as a decorative detail if you want to. You could either do the glass window there or you could do the metal seashell looking thing. I just like to play around with different options and just see what can be done. So the metal uh, fence foundations up here do also provide an interesting look. And the nice thing about using fence foundations like that is there's no collision for the bottom part of the fence foundations. So it's not going to interfere with your character going in or out of the bed. Using a couple of these boxes, let's try making it a little more square to make it easier to cover our crop plots that we're going to snap in there. All right, and then I realized that if I want my torch to be lower, I'm going to need to put the torch down first, otherwise the crop plots will raise it up higher so it has to go boxes and then torch and then crop plots in order to make these little clay pot lamps so box then crop plots we can put some spark powder in those and then it always seems to work best if you're looking down from above there we go and then you can put the vessel down there and it will make it look like cool rustic light but you usually do have to light the torch uh, put the fuel in the torch and light it before placing the vessel because otherwise you won't be able to access the torch so you may have to pick up the clay pot again occasionally in order to refill the torch with fuel but eh, it's not too much trouble and you can still use the boxes for storage as well i like that i kind of want something more for the canopy but you totally could just leave it here this looks like a great vastly more interesting bed than just the vanilla bed you could just just do it up that much and just call it a day and i decided to break down this wall between the two because I was kind of thinking maybe I should add another one because I was just having so much fun with this I wondered what one that was just out of tech pieces could, would look like and then I got the idea to try using triangle roofs to dress up the canopy a little bit which I know they are the most annoying piece to deal with in arc but you get such cool designs with them when you can get them to cooperate there we go I realized that it was the fence foundations that was interfering and preventing it from snapping properly oh yeah I do like that oh, yeah. It's all coming together. That just really adds a little extra something something. Try something different for that footboard. Sloped greenhouse walls and see see how those could look. Yeah, I broke the double door frame again. But that's kind of cool. Yeah, kind of. If I could snap a couple fence foundations on top of each other so those were more meshed together, I'd like it even more. But it is interesting, even just like that. Let's try adding the fence foundations back around the sides. Nice. So then I decided to make another one that was not centered between two walls, but was just over one ceiling like that, since of course that will work perfectly fine in a lot of scenarios. And that's what you want to see, that nice little nub on the top. And let's try making this one out of tech. Yeah. A lot simpler than doing the whole thing with the triangles, but of course it also makes it so it is flush with the outside wall. So in order to add a headboard, you're definitely going to need to add a fence foundation to snap railings or door frames to. All right, see that? Yeah, that, that'll still work, I think. And our tech double door frames. I, I really do love the tech double door frames. I love the shape of those. They're really fun to play with. I've made gazebos using those before too. Yeah, I'm gonna need a second fence foundation in there if I wanna be able to do railings and also door frames. Yeah, that was sh sharing the same snap point with the door frame, which not what I was intending since there is a fence foundation and also a ceiling edge down there actually two ceiling edges there should be plenty of snap points to go around let's try doing that same trick with the window only with tech windows it's kind of cool kind of too bad about the wood framing on the stone wall again i should have tried a different wall variant behind it there but 
decided to keep going and try some other things for the bed. Oops, and that snapped one of the other snap points down there. It didn't replace the window frame. There we go. That's what we want to see. Now we have our floating tech window. Could do a door or a door frame there, the same using the same technique, but I, I liked the smaller size of using the window like that, just as a little accent. Decided to just add, just as a decorative detail to the canopy. Why not just play around with it? So put one of those little tech trap doors in the middle of a greenhouse glass ceiling. Ooh, I like the tech pieces all snapped together like that for the canopy. That looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like having the little sparkly bits. It's kind of fun. All right, so that, I think that snapped to fence foundation. Well, it snapped in some such a way so that it didn't break the double door. And then let's get our beds arranged in there. And if anyone thinks that the bed looks oddly wide, just remember that king size beds are square. So this is just a king size bed. Hmm, can frame that out with some signs. Trying to get these things centered is always a little bit tricky with how by default they place crooked. Stop it, get some help. Please, please, wild card with ASA. Just give us signs that just go straight here. You know, we can always make them crooked ourselves if we want to. We can rotate them. This is kind of a fun pattern for a headboard. You could just stop here. You can stop at any point and have a, a simpler bed design, or you can just keep going. I decided to push it and just see how crazy elaborate I could make it. Just see what's possible. So let's add some tech double doors to the upper double door frames to be our curtains. Ooh, tech ladders are, those are really cool looking. They're also kind of sparkly. So let's try adding some of those. Ooh, and yeah, they, they will go on pillars. They will not go onto the sides of a wall, but they will snap on all four sides of a pillar. So if we add some pillars here, make our posts of our Tech 4 poster a little more beefy looking, then we can add some ladders. You could almost imagine it being like a beaded curtain or something. Hmm, that goes part way through the walls, so I would have to deal with that on the other side, but you know, that's a problem for later Songbird to deal with. And once again, ladders have the benefit, of course, of not having any collision when they're hanging down, so they won't get in the way of using the bed as a respawn point or to leave your character logged out laying in bed. Hmm, potential, but kind of feel like it's a little too much. I'd like a little more variety in the texture that I see. You could totally do that. It's a very viable option, but let's try it without the bottom ladders. Yeah, that way we get to see the shapes of those pillars as well. Adding another texture in there. I like that. And then, ooh, yeah, fence foundations up at the top. Just keep going as adding as many details as we can and just see what we like. We can always remove them later. Hmm, uh, why not go all the way here? You can add ladders to the inside edge of the ceiling as well as the outside edge. Let's just go ahead and snap a ladder everywhere we can possibly snap a ladder. Oh, and since we've got pillars on the corners, we can put artifact pedestals on top of the pillars. Ooh, I like that. And you could, of course, also paint this, make it match any color scheme you would like. But I actually really like the unpainted look of tech pieces. I like the, the silver and blue and black. So I decided to leave this one unpainted. If you do decide to paint it, though, you should definitely try painting the shimmery, sparkly blue bits. Paint them black because it actually, instead of black, it makes them shimmery dark purple and it's a really cool color. And now let's try out making a canopy for a tech pod. So I decided what I'm basically going to do here is make it almost like a gazebo and it's going to need to have a higher roof inside to make room for that lid when it opens up like that. I decided to add the tech 
fence foundations just to make it a little easier to do some layering there and this definitely is going to need to be three high and then let's see about making a cool fancy design with our floating trapdoors trick kind of theme seems like a bit of a theme <laughs> this video all the different things you can do with floating trapdoors and windows replace those with a tech ceiling and then pick up those ceilings Ooh, that's pretty cool this one is noticeably lower though let's fix that now, looking closer I can see the reason why is because the door frames are lower they snap to a different snap point at the bottom as compared to the others so let's make sure we get that right this time there we go that fixed the root of the problem now it should work fine and replace it with the ceiling and pick up the ceiling there we go it's kind of cool floating flower design like that that could also be used for a really interesting like light fixture or something oh yeah i like that yeah let's let's put a tech light there showcase our tech pod shine a, a light on it you can even paint the tech light if you would like s plus tech light so you can adjust the color by just going into the settings but vanilla ones you can just hit it with paintbrush and make it whatever color of paint you would like there we go that's cool i like that okay let's try dressing it up a little bit more though i do like the way the tech railings look especially when you stack a few of them they just have a really interesting design let's put some fence foundations up here as well for some extra detail some of these are not on the same snap point let's make sure we get them right there we go kind of makes a frame around that little roof i like that and the fact that this is three walls high also makes it easier to do something like this because adding the railings at the top of course the railings do have collision and so if you put them too low sometimes they can interfere with the character running in and out that's pretty cool since we're probably gonna only approach the tech pod from the front i decided to try kind of giving it a little bit of a frame behind it with some sloped walls and a solid wall it's really to kind of showcase it and I was trying to think through other tech pieces that might be useful and decided to try a tech catwalk in here and that just added a cool little detail to the corners so why the heck not since we're building in creative anyway and don't have to worry about expensive resources yeah that's kind of cool the detail at the corners it almost reminds me a little bit of like a pagoda or something I don't really love the fact that there's kind of a hole at those corners where the railings replace the double door frame up at the top. So in order to fix that though, I'm going to need another layer of walls. So let's add another layer of fence foundations here. And of course, if you're not building this as an outdoor gazebo, you could always build it in a round tower in your base or something build a little room for your tech pod or a balcony so which bed was your favorite out of all of the five beds that we made in this video i would love to know which one you like the best and why or which features which details you liked the best what you are planning on combining and i would love to see screenshots of the beds that you build so yeah post them on twitter and tag me at songbird gamer or you can join my discord the link is in the description and post them in my screenshots channel there i do check all of the pictures that are posted there and usually comment on them I would love to see what you do with this idea. If you watch this video all the way to the end, make sure to leave a bed emoji in the comments as our little secret code to let me know that you watched the whole thing. And make sure to check my channel page for my streaming schedule. I would love to have you pop in and say hello sometime. I stream pretty frequently. And I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye for now.